Hey, I'm Mariana Hewitt from Maximo TV. We're here in Hollywood at the premiere view again to catch up with all the big stars from the film. We've got Kristen Bell, Sigourney Weaver, and even Betty White. If you could kiss any guy in Hollywood, who would it be? Robert Redford. Oh, of course. Thank you so much. No, no, wait a minute. Rob Lassie. Lassie? <laughs> Kristen, how similar are you to your character in the movie? <laughs> Pretty similar. Um, I don't know that I would destroy anyone's wedding, but um, I'm probably as feisty, although I don't think I keep a vendetta like she does. I kind of just live and let live. I don't take it personally. Did you get picked on a lot growing growing up? Um, no, I... Girl. <laughs> no, I mean, I went to a very small school. We only had about 60 kids in our class. So you couldn't get away with bullying like you can at schools where they have a thousand. We all knew each other's families, so it was a little bit different. But, um, I mean, I get picked on because of my height, like, to date. Yeah. So when you were growing up, did you have any friends like this where you, did, you had animosity over the year? I, I uh, actually, in high school, had a bully. So I was able to draw inspiration from that girl and bring it into my character. What can you tell to girls growing up, maybe uh, to help them grow the through bullying? The advice that I can give is to be confident and know that who you are in high school doesn't define who you are today. Thank you guys. You're such an established actress. Can you tell me what it was like working with Jamie Lee Curtis for the first time? Oh, it was awesome. You can see that we hate each other. But I don't know why she would wear the same dress. I think that's very odd. Okay. You look so amazing. Who am I dressed by? Uh, I'm wearing, well, we both are wearing David Meister. In the movie, you know, two girls, they grow up, they don't like each other. Do you think that that happens between guys? Does it, does it happen less? It feels like it happens less. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I grew up with so many girls that would go in and out of their friendships. And it would just like, they would turn on a dime. And we, I remember having conversations with all of them because my circle of friends that I had in basically preschool or middle middle school maybe are still my circle of friends now and we never had you know like a, I'm not talking to you time um, so I don't know is it more frequent it, it my in my experience yeah it is more frequent but uh, but I don't know if that's across the board so what was it like for you working with such established actresses in this movie it's kind of a dream you know uh, th this is such an incredible business where you end up getting to to work alongside your idols and Betty White certainly was one of my biggest, um, and Sigourney and Jamie Lee Curtis, I had grown up watching all their films. And um, it was just a huge pleasure and really awe-inspiring every day. I play a girl named Kendall, who is a mean girl alongside Odette Eastman's character. She's her sidekick. I absolutely support her when we're mean, and then as the movie goes into the present, I'm behind her whatever she decides to do. Can you do a little turn for me? I love your dress. Loving that dress. It's amazing. Thank you. I love the color of your dress you're wearing tonight. Me too. Um, so talking about fashion, can you tell me what you think about your clothes you wear on Mad Men? I, I love the clothes I get to wear on Mad Men. Every time we have a, a fitting, it's so exciting to see what they've pulled because it's uh, the most incredible, really actual vintage clothing. And you know, I'm tall, so they're always having to like take out the, you know, the hems because it has to be just so height, you know. But it's it's absolutely amazing working with Janie Bryant. The event is a uh, a government conspiracy thriller, high octane, uh, fast paced uh, uh, government. Did I say that government cover up conspiracy theorists uh, dream come true on the screen? Uh, you know, a lot of little people like me with families. They mess up our families and 
thrust us into doing suicide missions, trying to kill presidents and little, little things like that. And, you know, there's uh, people chasing after my missing daughter. I'm chasing after my missing daughter. Um, it's uh, we, many questions, answers, but more questions than answers. Uh, it's got the mythology of a lost. It's got the fast pace of a of a of a 24. So it's kind of filling the gap for those audiences because I know there's a hunger out there for that. The thing I really love about this show is it's the characters and they develop. They're going to develop the characters, and you'll see it. You'll see the pilot. You'll see how carefully they develop the characters and what care they take with each one. And it's a big cast. It's like 11. So far, it's 11 people and growing. The show's called Shake It Up, and it's a dance show. Um, it's actually a show based around dance, and it's about me and my my best friend, and it's kind of about our adventures. Um, we dream to become professional dancers, and we finally get an opportunity when we get to audition for our favorite dance show called Shake It Up Chicago. So you see how that kind of incorporates it. Um, and it's basically just about us being on the show and doing all these fun things and getting into trouble, but it's really fun. I just catch up with a little bit with your other cast mate. Can you tell me a little bit about the show too? Well, Shake It Up, it's got a lot of physical comedy. It's based around dance and it's about friendship and following your dreams. And it's about uh, CC and Rocky and their friendship and them trying to reach their goals as professional dancers on a show called Shake It Up Chicago. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're designing right now? Yeah, I'm designing a bunch of things uh, right now. I haven't, like I'm, you know, drawing out all the sketches and stuff, having people look at them, give me critiques, you know, stuff like that. I'm learning every day and it's it's pretty cool. Um, my issue for Dream Magazine actually is out right now. Um, I was in the last one for 20 under 20 and now it's uh, all about my fashion line and someone gets to win one of my pieces. And stuff. That's so amazing. So if you could dress any celebrity, who would it be? Um, I don't know if I would, oh my god, actually, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I, one of my things is I love styling, like I style my sister sometimes, so that's pretty fun. Um, but I'm obsessed with Taylor Momsen, even though she's younger than me, you know, I just think she's really real. People kind of bash on her, but I'm, I'm obsessed with her, and I would love to just like meet her and hang out with her, maybe dress her, like, I don't know, I love it. That's it for us. You again, it's out in theater September 24th.